visit your home and hear your prayers before the sun comes up. So to me, that's my way. You greet the sun. Exactly. I always learned that because I'm a I'm a greasy mouth clan member. Mm-hmm. There's one day a week that I'll always take, and I'll wake up as the sun's coming up because you greet the sun. We were spirit keepers of the sun. Mm-hmm. We were good hunters, but furthermore, but furthermore, when we used to eat the buffalo, the buffalo was a lean animal. It was mm-hmm. tough meat. Yeah. So we used to eat the best parts of the meat, which were the fat. That fat would make you greasy inside the mouth. And one of our things is we are spirit keepers of the sun, though. So being a sun dancer or being able to, to come up as the sun comes up and be able to greet it, though, most people don't realize that the oldest religion that there is is worshiping the sun. Mm-hmm. Judaism has been a much longer religion than, than uh, Christianity has. Mm-hmm. And Christianity wouldn't be anything without Judaism. Right. Some people think that, what is it, out of Christianity or Judaism, that they think that, um, what is his name? Um, what is it, Abraham? They think that he was just schizophrenic because they said that a spirit came to him and God was just with them all the time. Mm-hmm. He had a father. His father used to sell idols in a store, mm-hmm. kind of like how Asians... Right. Buddha and all that stuff. All I learned is this, is that we've always been here. Right. The longer you grow your hair, you know what we call that? We call that medicine. We call it knowledge. <clears throat> like, we, our hair represents the wealth and the knowledge that we carry within our life. And they say that when you cut your hair, you're cutting off your knowledge and then not only that but they also say that um, when you grow your hair your hair is supposed to represent um, um, rain so like um, when you have long hair how'd that one fit? Uh, better Um, but the, the rain like if you ever look straight and you see the rain falling from a distance it like rains down in like one like in one like streak you know what I mean so that's how your hair was supposed to represent like from the back was like the rain just coming from the sky to the floor so it was supposed to be like when you had long hair when all the tribe members had long hair they would ask for like in spring the for rain to come over and like water the crops that way you were blessed to have fresh crops in the summer so that's what our hair would be It's a pleasure. If you'd like to come slow with this, you're really welcome to. We'd love to have you. This sounds crazy. Like, um, Where do you guys normally go? Uh, what is it? Valley View and Charleston. It's just a buddy of mine's backyard. Uh-huh. He's, he's a good man. He's a Sunday answer, though. And um, we just get together. It's, it's a little Lakota style. I mean, I'm Crow. Normally, all men go with men, though, and they get the luck, though. But uh, the Lakota style, they let men and women. Oh, okay, shirts. got it. So, yeah, see, ours is separate. Yeah. See, ours is separate, and then use the sand, the sand, the, the, the clay mud to, yeah, to well, exfoliate your skin and to, like, you have to reborn. And furthermore, though, um, I say, I don't know what you identify with, though, like, I don't want to be disrespectful. Um, but, uh, I know a lot of two spirits, like, they'll look like women, though. Is from Minnesota, and then they have a uh, they have a uh, woman in the two spirit uh, sweat on their arm because they want to pray about some different things, some things that they can't talk about. Like maybe a woman in the it's, Got it's it. good, it's good medicine, though. It really I is. But uh, I can, if you want to take down my number, you're more than welcome. <laughs> So you're from Utah? Whereabouts? Um, 30 minutes north of Salt Lake City. Is that the 